Hey guys, Hi. Josh here. And Michelle. Doing a, this is, we, we Michelle took footage of a lot of our crews, um, so she kind of uploaded these videos of our days, but for this day, which was Cozumel. Basically the rest of the trip, I pretty much dropped the ball. Yeah, she didn't record anything, so those cool videos that she uploaded with music and stuff, like, those are cool, but we don't have any more. So we're just going to have to talk about it now the way we used to, the old form, which is fine. Maybe I'll insert some pictures at the end. Sure. Um, so we woke up, and it was Cozumel, which we've already been there once. But today, we were hungover. Yeah, because we drank so much in Costa Maya. If yeah. you watch that video... <laughs> You'll know why. Go back I, and Even though it. I'm like eating, and I'm like, I'm past it. Even though I, And then I woke up with a hung hangover. I wasn't past it. <laughs> And she was really feeling the blues. We slept like 12 hours. Though. Yeah. So. So we woke up a little hungover. I guess I wasn't that hungover, but she was. We went and ate breakfast. This it, is one of light the only breakfast. days we ate breakfast. I think I ate oatmeal. I needed something like with some consistency, which the oatmeal rocks, man. I put like brown sugar and walnuts and like some raisins. Not raisins, maybe like cranberries. I don't know what it they was. They have but really good oatmeal. I know. I told my dad, I said, yeah, man, oatmeal is good. He's like, oh, that's what I want to eat is oatmeal on a ship. Blah. I'm like, dude, you whatever, so much dad. Other junk, though. Get like, out of here. You need something. Yeah, so that's what I had. I think I had orange juice or something. So then we got ready. We weren't in a rush to go to port. Because we already been there and we were feeling sluggish, so and it was really hot. It was really hot in Cozumel, yes. Um, then we went there, walked off the ship. There was a bunch of ships there. Yeah, I think there's eight ships in port. Yeah, it was a ton of people. So the port you know that, is nuts. You know, you know the store that you have to walk through to get to the port. It's like the custom or the duty free shop. It was like a madhouse. And it was wall to wall people. It was crazy, dude. Like you were like, ah, <laughs> trying to get through there. So it was nuts. So we we booked through there because we already been there. I bought up stuff there last time. Uh, so we already, we already knew that. So we went there. I wanted to go and have a drink at my old at the place where I got like hammered last time. It was three amigos I last said time. No. But yeah, we didn't go there. But it looks like it Margaritaville was Margaritaville Buffett. It looks like Jimmy Buffett's brand might have bought three amigos because the last time we were there it had like three amigos merch and that's it. it didn't have anything else in it and it was um this time we went in it it basically had like a margaritaville store in it it was like a bunch of margaritaville mer merchandise yep. like in the front it wasn't a store but it had like just a bunch of margaritaville a ton of stuff but there's like a margaritaville down a little bit which i wanted to go there too but i never made it um I could see it from the from the pier. I could see a Margaritaville. Uh, I took a picture. I've been wanting to go to a Margaritaville. I just haven't had the opportunity yet. Um, but yeah, it was like a bunch of Margaritaville stuff. So anyway. and then we went and looked at a guy that was painting that we wanted to that we liked, but they didn't really have anything that we wanted at the time. I guess was it that what it was? Yeah. He he's like in the corner and he does like hand paintings with his fingers and stuff. Really cool stuff. Yeah, we bought something last time. Yep. But anyway, our main goal here was to get outside the port because, yep. like, we had that bad experience on our first cruise uh, in Grand Cayman Islands, and we were like, let's get out of here. So we walked right out of the port where all the taxis are, walked mm -hmm. across the street. The street's nuts because there's vendors all over. <laughs> One year, it's like, but, yeah. a car, and then, but then the like, cars are like. <laughs> Right, and all the all the ships are there too, so you can see all these ships. We're walking. So Lots of taxis picking people up. Yeah, we decided not to take a taxi anywhere. We just walked around. We went to this Mayan uh, flea market, I think. Was that what it was called? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Was Bought a lot some of stuff. Stores. Yeah, some cheap stuff. I mean, cheap little souvenirs that are cool, like little like stone stuff, or I don't know what it is. Yeah. Yeah, but it was cool. We bought a couple things. Good deals. It was like. It was like five things for a do uh, not a dollar, five things for like five bucks or something, or ten bucks or something like that. And we bought some stuff that we liked. It would look cool. And then we went into uh, a part where there's like the, this guy was selling all this liquor, and he said a funny joke to me. He's like, "Do you speak Spanish?" And I'm like, "No." And he's like, "Neither do I." But he's like, from Mexican. It was just funny the way he said it to me. The other thing that was really cool about this day is it was Day of the Dead. Oh yeah. So they had. Um... I don't know what they call it. Oh, they had those guys spinning around again. That if you don't know if you've seen our other video, but Michelle took footage of the guy spinning around at at uh, Costa Maya. Yeah. Well, they were doing the exact same thing in Cozumel, but like 
in the city. Yeah. It wasn't like in the for the tourists. I mean, it, I think it was like a legit ceremony going on. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I thought it was because it was like outside of the port. It was like in the had, city. Um, I guess they put offerings down for people who have passed, so things that they would have liked. So we saw some like liquor and cigarettes and some other stuff at these like uh, offering places because it's a day that they honor those yeah. who have passed on. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was cool seeing that. And um, we didn't go down super far because it was kind of looking like maybe it was getting shady, but. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. But we just... We... Scared. <laughs> He's scared. Whatevs. But um, it's just... Uh, it was cool. We walked and then we um, just walked around for a while. And, and then it was like, so it was... hot we went back. Oh, no, no, no. I got to tell the best part. Oh. I'm forgetting. What? It was like in the oh. store. I got to hold a flipping parrot, man. It was it awesome. It was awesome. Okay. So I went up to this guy and he had... Well, we went up to this other guy... And he had like a big eagle. Oh yeah. And then he had like a parrot, and he's like, "Oh yeah, twenty dollars for pictures." And I'm like, really? "Uh, or thirty dollars." I'm like, "No, no, 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 I don't want it." And he's like, "Oh, okay, whatever." So then we walked in this little like open market or something, and this guy had two parrots. Then he's like, "Pay five dollars, and I'll take all the pictures you want with your camera, or whatever." And uh, I was like, "Okay." Yes. I mean, because we have our own, you know, phones, so. I was like, sweet, five bucks. So I had one where I'm holding it like a baby, and it was awesome. And then I have another one where it's hanging on my finger. Like, it was just hanging off my finger, like, grabbing onto it. I was like, Argh. It didn't hurt, though. No, it didn't. And then I had another one where I'm holding both of them by their, by their beaks like this. And But, like, man, it was super hot there, too. It was like 100 degrees at least. At least. It was super hot. Like, we were make Yeah, that's what you also got to remember. Um, keep fully dehydrated when you're at these... Fully hydrated. What did I say? Fully dehydrated. <laughs> Whoops. Fully hydrated. That was an accident. Fully hydrated uh, by the bottles of water or whatever. Um, but yeah, the parrot thing was like a highlight for me for sure because um, I've always just wanted to do that because I like parrots. We bought a little parrot souvenir to hang up in our house. Um, but yeah, it was awesome. And Michelle got to hold them too. Yeah. And it was pretty awesome, wasn't it? Yeah, it was cool. So, yeah. And it was, like I said, cheap. I mean, yeah, I know it's on my phone, but... Um, but, yeah, it's still cool. Um, and then we went back to the ship after that. Yep. And um, there's lots of... And there's a lot... The, let me say one more thing. There was lots of other things around people dressed up as different things. And um, you can get pictures with them. So, it's whatever, you know... It's just kind of cool little items, but we didn't do that. But it, you know, you, there's available um, for you. What All else? Right. That's I think. That's I just it. went back to the ship, and we were like tired, and so we just we like hung out. Deck. I probably gambled again, whatever. I I think I went and seen a movie, and you just like went to bed. No, that we, was the other night. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know what we anyway, did actually. I can't remember the ship. I'll link some pictures. I'll put some pictures in here at the end, so you'll probably be seeing them. Oh, we went and seen the show that night. Yeah. But I don't remember what the show was. Oh, it was a British. Yeah, the British. British and British Invasion show. It was really good. It was all mu music from the '60s. It was really good. If you see, have that ship show on your ship, check it out. I mean, we're you know quite young for that, but I know the music for my mom and stuff like that. So all right, it was pretty good. I'll okay. leave pictures. Any or Josh <laughs> and Bye. Michelle. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe.